Hello. I think the group is very excited about being able to have the opportunity to travel here, experience Heart Mountain, and come away with a deeper understanding of the emotional toll on people. My grandfather was interned there. He was arrested by the FBI the day they bombed Pearl Harbor, and that's where they took him. But for over a year, the family didn't know where he was. So when this trip came up, it's like, I gotta go see where they put Grandpa. <laughs> We wanted to give the opportunity for families and also the community to get more educated on what happened. I'd like to welcome everyone to the Heart Mountain 2018 pilgrimage. Thank you for being here. How was the bus trip? Let me first of all thank all of you for taking the time to be here at Heart Mountain during this pilgrimage. To spend a few days and relive the memories of your parents, brothers, sisters, yourselves, because this is something that we should never ever let escape our memories or the uh, history of this country. Norman Mineta was 11 years old when the family arrived at Heart Mountain, Wyoming in late 1942. Heart Mountain was called a relocation center, but it was a concentration camp. Some never forgot, and to this day, they're living with bad feelings and bad thoughts about what happened. These films brings back a lot of memories that my mother had talked to me, my brothers had told me and stuff like that. And I can remember and it, it still hurts, but I'm just real thankful that I'm here. My husband's mother was an attorney at Heart Mountain. And we've always known that story. We've always heard that story. We're very proud of it. So excellently presented. And just the thought that each person has a story. I want to hear all the stories. Every single person has a story that's important. Every single person has a legacy that has begun in their lives and it will go on. I think that I have an important assignment to carry it on through my family. Make sure they know. They shall stay in prison. It is highly educational, very diverse in terms of approaches. And I think one thing that's really important is that the offering opportunities for people, generations younger than I am, definitely to keep telling the story, to be engaged in what's happened and sharing that story. Because we don't want it to be considered ancient history. My expectation is to give those people that were interned a chance to return to the camps and maybe to have some closure on what they went through. Good morning. Good morning. How are you this morning? Welcome to the 2018 Heart Mountain Pilgrimage. I hope you're having a great time. I met my closest friend here at Heart Mountain, Senator Alan Simpson. Al and I shared a pup tent here in 1943. And I remember one time someone came up to Alan, says, you're a conservative Republican. Mineta's a liberal Democrat. Now, what's the biggest difference between you guys? And he says, I wear size 17 shoes. 
and Moneta wears eight and a half. Folks may say that my little pal and I made a difference uh, in this country, and, and that's, that's nice stuff. Norm and I, please never underestimate our capacity for adulation. <laughs> and uh, we love it. Many of you know we opened up our well-known uh, interpretive center in 2011, and every year after that we gathered for this event. I wonder if she was like the only Caucasian in the camp. We have three generations here. It feels like I'm learning about my own history a little bit more just by having this experience. I must have been about seven or eight and had an appendicitis attack. And so they took me to the hospital and they took my appendix out. And at that time, my brother came in with tonsils. And so they said, well, I might as well get mine out at the same time. So they took my tonsils out, even if it wasn't necessary. And so I had two operations over here at the hospital. There have been a lot of good success stories. We had uh, uh, lots of deliveries, 550 wow. uh, births here. Including my mom right here. Oh, which one? Yeah, this lady oh, oh, lovely. <laughs> this was probably the place I was born, probably right around here someplace, back in uh, September of 1943. I was the youngest of uh, all my uh, family. So I'm the baby of the family, almost 75 years old. <laughs> just when I first stepped out the bus today and just sort of sad memories. But like those speakers said that they hope it never happens again to any race. And so, Pilgrimage is like this. Try to focus the attention of, even though we're looking in the rearview mirror at what happened in 1942. As a driver, I know you're always looking forward. So what we have to do is make sure as we look forward that we never let people forget what happened during that time.